Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Last week we created, and I use the word lightly, we created two models. One of a candle without a flame. And then a flame and we had to have a little bit so there was something we could move around. Something we could manipulate. Today we need to create a script for it. Now what we want is when I activate this part of the candle, if the, can if the flame is there, it's going to disappear. And if the flame is not there, it's going to appear. That's the idea. To do that, we need to create a script. I have warned you before, I cannot code to save my life. So I cheat, really. Here's what happens. I do my shopping first. I go to the wiki and there's this page. It's actually bookmarked in my Morrowind, it's right there, as well as scripting for dummies, as you can see. I have it there, and I go, all right, I'm going to need to activate something. Right. This is how you write if unactivate. To be fair, I'm starting to know this one, but never mind. I, I do check it all the time. I'm going to want to disable something. OK, I see. This is how you enable or disable. You need the quotes. If the object you're using has space in between. So, for example, uh, the chapel bowl here with the underscore, you don't need the, the quotes. And uh, for my items, I have it in one word. I also know I want to have a message. So, I'm looking for the message box and making sure I know how to use it. And then I put all of that in a single program. Uh, this one is a rather old one, and to be fair, it's a bit buggy, but I like it because it puts pretty colors. Uh, I know there's a not notepad has a definition for more wind. Right now, I can't remember who was uh, kind enough to do that for us. I'll look it up and put it in the description. Uh, in any case, there's my shopping, where I put all the things I needed. Um, I am going to call a short variable. So the script knows that the flame is here or isn't here. Then I begin writing. And again, I use the word writing very, very loosely. I'm going to call my script uh, toggle light. That's what it does. I try to be very descriptive. The first thing I want to do is, you know, announce my little um, variable. Light on. What it means to me, I have to decide what it means, obviously. If the variable is set to zero, it means the flame is off. And obviously, if it's set to one, it means the flame is on. You could go either way. It has to be decided. That's how I decided it. Then I want to say, all right, if I activate the candle, I want the script to then check if the light is on or off. Fair enough. That's, um, you know, that's easy enough. If the light is on one, meaning if the light is on, I'm going to want the flame to be disabled. It is a very simple script. But, you know, I want the flame to be disabled. On top of that, I'm going to have the message that says you put out the flame. And I want to tell the script that from now on, because the flame has been disabled, my variable is zero. Oh, I want all of that here. Denting it nicely, though the program does it for me afterwards, which is nice. Uh, I like that very much. All right. Now, if my light is not already on, so that's an else. Now we're going to do the opposite, aren't we? So we're going to enable it. I'm going to change my message. To what you light the candle. And I'm going to set my variable to one. So that's. And if this one, that's done. I like this program. It's going to, I mean, it's not just the colors, but uh, in the in the scripts, 
you don't actually need to capitalize all of this but you know it's better to be consistent and morrowind can be a little picky so this one is going to do it for me it capitalizes capitalizes all of them which is just brilliant thank you so i had two ifs i now have two end ifs it's time to end this now my first um Test to see if I got it right is just to see if I lined everything up. I also like to use uh, mana users. Let me find it. I like to use mana use. Where is it? Right here. Uh, script indenter. That's also something I have bookmarked. There we go. Going to indent it for me, but more importantly, if for some reason. I decided to have another end if because I didn't pay attention or whatever. It's not happy and it tells me. Conversely, if I have minus one end if, then the end is not going to line up. So that's a simple way to check that things are working the way they are. So I now have my script right here. The next step is to see if the construction set is gonna accept it so back to the construction set i actually already copied it go that and i click save and it didn't say anything it's good uh, the sort of messages you are gonna get is for example if you don't have exactly the same name for the item it's gonna go wait a second you want me to enable that thing and i don't know what it is but in that case, the script was simple enough that I have it. The next step is simply to attach it. We want to attach it to the candle that is off. So there I go. Script. Toggle light. I've attached it. At this point, uh, if I was to launch Morrowind and test my mod, I would get a question. Morrowind would tell me that the script, toggle light, uh, cannot find a flame. That is because... I need to have it as a reference, a persistent reference. So I need to check that. Now at that point, if I was to test a mod, uh, I would have a problem because this candle right here needs to have a name. And the only way I can have a name for it is to say I can carry it. So I'm going to call it candle. An item, an object that doesn't have a name in the game cannot be you know, activated in that case. Now if I'm going to give it a name, it's going to need an icon. Because if I don't have an icon, you're going to have, you know, that uh, horrible smiley icon. Let's get to it. We're going to create an icon for my candle. First thing I want to do is take a pretty screenshot. And then I'm going to switch to GIMP. There it is. Now, GIMP, I like. Again, simple enough that I could work it out. And uh, an open source. That's a bit big. All right, now I have it. Two things we need to know about uh, icons. The size has to be 32 by 32, 32 pixels. I'm going to have to reduce that. And um, you want to save it as a DDS file or TGA. The way I understand DDS is better because they're smaller. So DDS is going to be, but before that, I want to get rid of that horrible grey background. To do so, you're going to add a an invisible layer, a transparent layer, we call that the alpha channel. And what happens is, if I take my eraser, and now it's a big, big, big eraser, my goodness. If I take my eraser, you can see behind it, the, the little squares, that's what you don't see. That's what is transparent. So what I want to do is select all of the grey. Fortunately, this is simple enough that I don't have to worry about deleting parts of my candle. It'll take all the grey and, uh, and delete everything. That way, in your inventory, you're not going to have that... Uh, background gray or black so often, often it's black and it's quite ugly because your menu can be transparent I mean you can choose how transparent you want it to be so it's nice to not see those items all right now what I need to do is crop that so I have a nice square of uh, 
32 by 32. So first I'm going to crop it. I want the size to be fixed in but a little more than that. Thank you very much. There. That is cropped. And now I want to reduce it. Scale it down all the way to not 248 pixels, but 32 and 32. Good. There we have our candle. Export as. I need to find a place for it. So I'm going to navigate to my Morrowind folder. Data files, this time icons. I now already have my own folder. I'm going to create one for my new mod. Lights. But really it's just a single light right now, isn't it? And I want that to be a DDS format. So we're going to call it uh, handle dot. Yes, thank you for that. There we go. We save it. I agree with all of that. Back to the construction set. Now my candle off, I can navigate to my folder. Done. Lights. There's my candle. And there it is. It's not going to show green in game, but that's the way it shows here. Save. Save. Whew. Shall we go and have a look in game to make sure that the script works before you and I are doing anything else? Let's go and have a look. So here we are in the game, ready to test our candle. I placed one right here, so it would be easy to test. There it is. Looks like a regular candle to me. It has a name, that's why we can activate it. It has a pretty icon. And when we activate it, put out the candle, the flame is gone, the light is gone as well. And you can go on and repeat that as many times as you want. Now, maybe you can't see it, but I have actually misaligned the two. So the lower part of the candle changes a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm going to rectify that in if scope. Uh, but I will do that off cam because there's no reason why you should see me do exactly the same thing as uh, last week, only this time better. Uh, the only thing we have left to do is go back in the construction set, make sure we're happy with um, where we want the candle to be. And then we can clean the mod and uh, zip it up. That's what we're going to do next week for now. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye bye.